Guys, it's your boy Ergudi Terror again with another beautiful video. Today we have Intel. We are gonna deep dive into the world of gacha games. You know, I've been playing this beautiful game that everyone is playing. It's a gacha game. It's called Girls Frontline 2 Axalium, okay? And it's a beautiful strategy game just like it's calm, you know? You have four characters to use in the playground, the battlefield, and a lot of stuff. But yeah, this is going to be a review, overview, or raw honest, like, opinion about the game. Because I'm a, you know, gacha lover, gacha gamer. It's a beautiful game, guys. I recommend you to download it right now. It has a PC client, PC client, and also has a iOS, Android mobile client as well, right? Yeah. You can play it on your tablet. I played as well uh, this game in my iPad Pro uh, from 2015. It's at 12.9 inches and it works perfectly good. Okay? But yeah, so as they as you can see, we are in the main home page screen of this. This game is about uh well getting these beautiful lollies with the big cats. I'm gonna show you the recruitment uh, screen with the banners. Pray no more stuff of any other beautiful gacha game but this one has impressed me a lot guys because it has a lot of beautiful characters well designed guys and the animation is pretty good to be honest they're pretty good so right now we have this premium banner the premium banner of Zumi, i think is the name of this character i just pulled it here like twice i think it is this one Zumi? you can actually click in these details and go straight to the preview of the character so Let's touch this and beautiful. She's a uh, little girl <laughs> with cats, big cats, right? I love that concept. But yeah, so watch another videos about this game from people that play it on the uh, Chinese server because this one is in the West. Uh, it, it, this game just released like two day, two weeks ago, right? So it's pretty new for the um, West. Um, for the uh, yeah, it's pretty new for the West. Okay, so this character is pretty good. Um, and also I I just tried. You can actually do a trail trail sorry or try the new character sorry uh, for free and get some of the currency to pull them right. So let's try it. Sumi, right? Sumi trial doll introduction. She's oh yeah yeah yeah. Let me tell you about this. This game has obviously DPS supports uh, healers and uh, tanks as well. So this one, for example, is a support character and she heals and regenerates the health of your team, okay? Uh, and also apply shields, and she's pretty good. So this is a brief description of their abilities and how to use it. So now we are in the main, main good she of the game, okay? So this is the main screen that you have when you are entering into battle. This the field okay guys so this one that moves in a square actually and the uh, different characters different dolls as they call in this game <laughs> different dolls they have different mobility and different range of mobility okay and also range of cheering of course because for example sumi i think is an smg uh, character so it's not pretty like a, a far long range like an ar or a sniper but yeah she's pretty good it's a fast killing machine and these ones are the skills, guys. You can actually read the skills right here. This is the normal, uh, like, basic attack command. It's, with, uh, it's binding to the one uh, keyboard, right? To the number one. A uh, two, three, four. Fourth is the ultimate, and the passive is this one, okay? Okay, now, obviously, you have the automatic of the auto button right here in the top of my head. And obviously, the quick, fast timing, right? Okay, and the skip, but yeah. We then never use the skip. And you have to rewind it. You have three tries to rewind three times uh, different steps. If you did something wrong, for example, in the past step, and it cost you the, the, the entire like game, the entire like match, you can rewind or just re retry the entire the level, right? So yeah, now let's try this beautiful baby, right? We have the four, the her main ability, her main ability is this one. It has a known beautiful animation. Uh, it's super fast because and then we are in 3x, okay? As you can see, I apply a shield and heal my teammates, okay? That's pretty good, that's pretty good. Yeah. So guys, this is uh, Sobi. And it's one of the best characters right now in the game, okay? Right now in the game. Okay, let's go back. 
we have only two more. Uh, yes, it is the enemy base. So this game is storm based. You have to wait. You have to wait. You make your moves. You attack. You destroy it. You can actually cover here in this game. You can choose who wants you to kill. And of course, I'm using just one here because it's a trail, but you have a team of four characters. You have to make a composition of all these characters. But yeah, it's pretty good. I'm going to make in the future some best compositions with the current characters that we are, uh, well, that we have available with the West servers, okay? The global server. But yeah. So let's move this baby near to this big boy here. It looks like a bat, right? But it's not a bat. It's just an elite, a stronger uh, enemy. And that's it. Yeah? So, it's normal. This is the same animation. All over again. Apply the shield. Apply the heal. Perfect. She's pretty good. She's pretty good. Okay? But yeah. It's in 3x now. You can change the 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 speed of the, this uh, thing, for example, just to actually get the past this super quickly, right? Okay, this area, guys. This area means that he, the next turn, the enemy is going to do an attack on ability on the skill that is going to take all this square, all this range. It's an AOE attack, right? So the game is telling you something bad is gonna happen, okay? And uh, for example, you can move in your phase and your turn. You can move all your like um, characters from this area. Obviously, these ones are controlled by the PC. For example, the, the computer itself, the AI, and you're just controlling this one. But yeah, so I'm going to be here. I'm going to use this ability number two. I'm going to apply it. And yeah. Okay, now he's doing the same, but my character is in the middle of this big, beautiful like area that's going to be attacked by him but fortunately my teammates just kill her okay confirm okay this one's guys this one's is the main currency of the game guys the main currency of the game these things they collapse at pieces of crystals no because they, they look like crystals of course and these ones are the items that you need to collect you can actually make different like activities in the game that give you as a reward these crystals okay or you can buy it because this one is a good game, of course. I think the game is pretty, pretty easy on uh, free-to-play players like me. And, uh, well, uh, throughout my entire, like, uh, time playing this game, like, two weeks, um, I've been collecting a lot, okay? I already have this amount, 1,190, okay? But, for example, the morning, I have, like, more than 10, uh, seven. 7,000, there's 7,000, 70k of these ones. But I pulled some of the banners, right? So, yeah, we get back to this uh, screen where you actually can share, see the, the doll, for example. We back to the recruitment screen. Uh, this is uh, obviously the premium banner. This is the tickets that you need to collect, buy, get for free from different events, different missions, uh, in order to actually make the pool or use your collapsed pieces, okay? So yeah, now we have the banner of the gun. Normally, the banner, I mean beneath, sorry, beneath the, the, the premium banner is the gun of the premium banner. So this gun is the gun of Sumi, right? Let's go with the, uh, to the next one. This one as well is a premium character, but uh, I heard this one is not really good. I mean, there's a male character, there's more characters like her. Yeah, this one is his, uh, her sword, for example. And this one is the standard. So the standard has different tickets, guys. These ones are obviously a uh, part of the rewards of missions, events, boss fights, all this stuff. No? Many activities, daily activities, weekly activities, codes, for example, as well. Uh, attendance, lodging, events, everything, okay? So if you want to see what are the characters that you can pull from this uh, banner, go to details. And these are all the characters. So, Bell Play, for example, I pulled her like two days ago. She's pretty good as well. She's ice as well. That's an element. Okay, in this game, uh, the characters have like ability depending on that one element. Uh, pretty uh, Tololo. I think Tololo is pretty good. I've been uh, watching some videos about uh, rank characters and they say this one is really good. During the first days after the release, I pulled her like twice, I think. And yeah, and these ones are the guns. Okay, SSR guns. Solid premium guns, okay? Uh, assault rifles, snipers, SMGs, shotguns as well, because some like Sabrina, they use shotguns, right? They use shotguns. But yeah, okay, normal home screen. 
with all the stuff. We have the banners, beginner banner, uh, not the banners, but the beginner like events. Uh, you can pull many of these pieces, collapse pieces from this one. Down beneath of the, the, the first like banner is the current time limit event. This event is just going to be here. Don't stay for a little, uh, a little no more than 20 days, I think. Okay, yes, like this. Ends in 19 days, 19 days. So these events, like any other gacha games, gives you a lot of rewards, especially these ones. They have a shop, right? And sometimes this shop, they have tickets, premium tickets, normal tickets, pieces, okay, colossal pieces, crystals, and some characters. But this character, for example, is purple. It's not a premium character on this SR character, right? And items as well, items and guns. Okay, so you need to use the currency of the event. For example, this part of the event, it was the obsolete model, the obsolete model. And uh, now we are the second shop because we, uh, the second part of the side story of the event was just unlocked, right? Unlocked. Okay, so yeah, we have these event missions that uh, is a special story. That's great story, okay? And uh, you, obviously, when you get into the stories, you have these little pieces here, these banners, and these ones are the visions. And current, uh, normally, down below the monsters, the unit, uh, the enemy units, it's the rewards. But I completed it, so it's not showing it anymore. Uh, you have the hard mode, for example. Uh, for example, this one, I haven't completed it, I haven't done this, and I have the rewards here. And the currency is here, power rewards, the currency, okay? Now, this currency, you use it in the store, right? So, for the second part, right? For the second part, now let's go hard. They give me another type of currency, okay? So, let's go back to the shop, guys. Let's go back to the shop, and we have this second currency here. This is the second part of the, story, the, the shop. It was locked, it, as well as the second part of the story. And we have, for example, double tickers, premium tickers, crystals as well, and obviously, one type of character. This one is purple, right? Lotok. <laughs> I love the names of this one. But yeah, also, also, we have these modes. Challenge mode. I haven't completed these ones. These ones are kind of hard, so I had to complete a little manually, not automatically, and they give you extra rewards like this one, no? Attachments. Because the guns use attachments. Later, when I make another videos, I'm going to make a video about attachment and the best attachment currently in the, in the game, right? But yes, so you complete these challenge mode missions as well, and they give you, obviously, the currency for the shop, right? And we have these two or special mode. This one reminds me to, is the name, uh, yes, the, the, the name of the game is Or Plane, I think, and it's like an exploration. It's also like Nikkei exploration, okay? And in this one, you absolutely choose a buff, and at the end of the, it's like a labyrinth or Puzzle, uh, you're gonna fight a boss, okay? And you defeat the boss, and you're gonna get obviously rewards. No, so if I choose both, because I confirm it, I have to choose my units, okay? And after I choose my units, I start a patrol. They call it here patrol, but it's like a normal expedition in your catch game, okay? Also, also, I forgot about this. When you are in a story, or when you are in a hard mode, for example, or in a special mode, you have sometimes these little banners, okay? And these little banners are a special rewards for completing the missions, for example. In the campaign, you have them as well, okay? But yeah. And the other mod that we have in the, the event right now is this one that it looks entirely similar to Nikki, okay? So, uh, the good thing, the good, 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 good thing that they, they let you use one of the special characters that you don't have. For example, I don't have Sabrina. And they have this special skin. This special skin is money, money, of course, guys, because it's a gachi game. So, there's the skins as well here in this game. A kind of burp handy skins sometimes, <laughs> like this one, but I love it. I love this doll, okay? So, if you start a combat, it's going to be similar to like, oh my god, Nikki, okay? But yeah, a special and great addition to the game, okay? But yeah. And uh, after you finish, for example, that you finish this challenge, they're gonna give you all these little rewards. Uh, involving like materials as well, and uh, as well as uh, the coin currency for the shops from the event. Okay, so this is the same event of right now, right? The of right now, for example, guys, we have different icons, okay? We have the campaign, which is the, the main story down here, guys. So. Here is the campaign, it's the main story. As soon as you enter the game, as soon as you uh, see the, the prologue, and you choose your name as a commander, okay, you get into the campaign to actually finish 
one of the characters, chapters, sorry, one of the chapters. We currently have six chapters, okay? This is the main story, and obviously you have both difficulties, normal and hard. And for example, I'm gonna choose uh, uh, the six uh, chapters sorry, to show you the rewards. So this is the mission, as I told you, and obviously this is the rewards, okay? Every of these missions, they give you shards, okay? I don't know if we're gonna change this one, but I think so. So you can collect and gather a lot of these shards, which is the currency to pull, make some pools uh, of the manners and get some dolls or weapons. Uh, there is going to be part of the rewards of the missions. And also here, for example, you have an extra reward to complete 16 of these missions, 32 of these missions, or not, not, not these missions, sorry, to complete all the missions and get uh, what I call the stars, these ones. The mission objectives. If you complete this mission with all the three mission objectives accomplished, you're gonna get three, for example, here are 16, 32, 48, okay? So you need to complete all the missions, achieve with all the objectives, okay? And you're gonna get extra collapse pieces as our war tickets as well, and materials. These ones are materials, okay? But yeah, when you get to the, the hard mode, for example, I'm gonna choose the fifth chapter, hard mode, Second, you get more of these pieces, okay? And you have to achieve more of these objectives to get more of these pieces. Now, I personally recommend you to do it, okay? Do the entire campaign. You need to level up your commander level down below here is your commander level. Currently, I'm level 30, 30, okay? And why you need to level up your commander third, uh, level, sorry? Because I'm going to the refugee room, okay? Where is the room where you see all your characters? Because, guys, the level of your characters is equal to the level of the commander. And you're the commander. So you, if my level is level 30, I can level out my character like in this case. I cannot do it because I don't have this one to expand it to 40 limit. But yeah, if I choose, for example, another character that I haven't leveled up, like Lota, she's a level 1. I want to level up her. I can level up to 20. And after that, I can level up. I can expand it with the materials, right? I level out her until maximum 30. Okay? Because my level right now as a commander is level 30. Okay? Let me check if I... Yes. For example, Somi. Somi is level 20. 29. I can level up her to level 30. Because I'm currently level 30. Okay? She's crazy, she's a... <laughs> she's melting everyone. So that's how you level up your characters, okay? It's gonna cost you, obviously, currency of the game with these, these, these reports uh, around the limit. And also the weapons, the weapons level up as well as the level of the commander, okay? So you can enhance them to level, for example, 30. I cannot level up to level 31 because my commander level is not 31. So I'm gonna level up to... 30, okay? Weapons. Let's talk about weapons, guys. So, weapons. You can change the skins of the weapons. For example, this one is purple. But if I have a weapon, uh, I can unlock this one. I can just readjust the skin of this weapon to the SSR skin weapon, right? That's something that's just cosmetic, right? Yeah. Now, attachments. You are going to farm some attachments from special missions. I'm going to make a video about these special issues later, okay? To not make this video a uh, beautiful video more longer, but yeah, you can affirm for the attachment and they give you extra, extra percentages, abilities, attributes to your guns, okay? More DPS, for example, but yeah. Now, calibration. Calibration is when you have more copies of the same weapon, okay? And you can calibrate it, is a number here, uh, up on six, I think, up on six. So it's going to obviously get better better results, better abilities, better like attributes from the gun if you calibrate it with the same uh, image and the same piece of the gun, okay? But yeah, currently I don't have, I don't have, okay? But yeah. Now, change weapon. We have many weapons, guys, many. Common, uncommon, purple weapons, and obviously, obviously, uh, SSR or premium weapons or yellow weapons, okay? You have to pull them. You have to pull them or they're going to be gift gifted from events okay so play the game guys just play the game together okay so she's pretty cool she's pretty cute she's pretty amazing she's one of the best characters i'm gonna talk about her later okay
Okay, but yeah. Now, fortification. Fortification is like constellations in Genshin Impact. It's when you have more copies of the same character and you can enhance their own abilities, okay? So this one is like a spine, right? It's, a, it's like a backbone, no? It's like a backbone. It's like a spine. So uh, if I get, oh, I pull another copy of Sumi, I can fortify this one, okay? Fortify this level, okay? This segment. Neural Helix. Neural Helix is where you can or enhance the passives or enhance some abilities, right? Like, uh, they call it notes, of course, notes. But these ones are abilities, these ones are the attributes of my character. I can enhance them, for example, when I uh, activate this note, she gets 3.0 attack and defense to 26, okay? When I activate this note with, obviously, materials, let me show you. This is our materials. You farm these materials from supply missions, okay? So, if I have enough these materials, I can upgrade Sumi to have attack 38 and defense 36, okay? Very, okay? And this one as well, okay? So, you also need to farm some materials from supply missions to actually activate nodes for every of your characters, okay? It's worth to invest in Sumi. It's worth to invest, for example, in Kwachin. I don't know, I pronounced her name pretty good, but yeah, it's Kwachin. Uh, because they, this one is a main DPS and she's pretty good, okay? And Somi, Somi is a support and it's pretty good because she applies the shield, she applies health as well. So, it's pretty good. I have best play, best play, sorry. And she's pretty good as well, but yeah, I need to find more information about her if I want to. The thing I like about her is their design. I love her design, it's, she's pretty good, okay? Okay, now down here, it, it is the dormitory where you can actually see your characters doing some stuff like normal stuff or just living for example and this one is the skins right this game has skins guys so uh, a play has like two skins i think it costs money obviously but they look pretty good right so for the big day the people that like the skins yes go for it guys go for it okay this the, we have to support this game because it's beautiful okay but yeah these little robots we have some of the areas that we already visit refitting the room uh, Elmo server room, store room. This is your inventory. This is your inventory. Okay. Trading pass. This is the the shop, the general shop. Okay. Where you can actually buy some skin, buy some uh, items, for example. Sometimes, for example, today we have daily free gifts. We use these gifts to um, level up the affinity, the bonus, the relationship with the characters they get more attributes or plus attributes as well like more defense more attack etc right but yeah i'm gonna show you custom skins for the weapons as well and this one the most important thing obviously the pass right the monthly increment contract uh buff options two options three one of 9.99 and 4.99 okay whatever you want to actually acquire it's gonna be great trading plus this one where you change your crystal collab pieces for the tickets this is the premium ticket, this is a normal ticket. Grow stack, a special materials, right? These ones, these, 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 is because you make some pools, right? You make some pools and you get these ones to spend in this section of the shop. And also these ones, this one you make pools and you can spend it in some sections of these weapons, okay? I think uh, you want this weapon here, if you have a DPS, okay? Or this one here, but yeah. Snipers, I don't use sniper, but they give us a free sniper user named Nemesis. She's cool, but yeah. Later on, uh, she's going to be a replay, right? But yeah. Redemption. Money, 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 guys. Money, money, money. Almost every room. This one is an special, like, um, where you can see all the stuff and know about the things of, of this game, okay? Uh, it's where they are, it's, it's like, like an archive, okay? Like a cadex, okay? Like a cadex with all this stuff, right? But yeah, let's go back. We have the public area as well. This one is the dormitory of the end of the dispatches area, okay? I'm gonna talk about this patch room later, but let's go to the dormitory, guys. The dormitory is where you can see your character, your special doll, okay? For example, my favorite right now is uh, Kujin. Kujin. Kiju, okay? <laughs> She's sleeping, but you can change the pools. For example, reading, observing, pondering, okay? And every of these characters has different uh, things or poses, okay? 
Some of them you have to unlock them to reach a level, a certain level, or uh, buying some skins, okay? But yeah, let's go back. You have a free camera button here, right here. You can move, okay? You can see, you can touch or make an interaction, for example, with her. She's pretty cool. She's a, she, she's a shinobi, okay? But yeah, and down here we have outfits. Currently, she doesn't have any, any skins. But if, for example, I choose the play or Somi, why don't you show me? Outfits. She has this one. I haven't unlocked it. It's money, guys. It's money. <laughs> and archives. Well, the, the voices, the memories, the journals about uh, these characters, special characters, no? And this is the most important thing, the affinity. Okay, the affinity level is going to change if you give some gifts to the characters. Currently here. I'm going to... Okay, so these ones are objects that you use to give. Do I? Gifts for, obviously, your dolls. And... This ones, for example, are of the highest rank and they give you this amount of experience, right? Now, after I reach to level 3 uh, affinity with Somi, they're gonna give me as a world ticket, but she's gonna get health plus 98 and defense plus 38. And that's pretty good because at the end of the day, she's gonna get stronger, okay? She's gonna get stronger. That's where you get, okay? But yeah, all right. So the dormitory is pretty good, beautiful place to be, to be honest, okay? I'm gonna choose another character, for example, Kensenia, Senia. She's reading, she's in so, oh no, she's, she's biting the gold bars. <laughs> she doesn't have the outfits or skins. Let's change the, observing, examinating. Oh, she has many, many, many gifts. Okay, perfect. Now, you can move. You're gonna reset the view, you can hide the controls, you can do whatever you want, okay? Let's go back. Gallery, a uh, weapon gallery, guys. Well, here you put in the wall your favorite weapons, okay? It, it's not used for any levels, okay? Just to actually see your guns, your preferred guns. <laughs> but yeah, let's go back. Public area, it's already done. Refitting room, it was where the characters are. And here, for example, up here is the normal, like, icons as a world. As soon as you get into the game after the reset time, I think the reset time is 11 p.m. for the West, okay? You get obviously the attendance even like any other gacha, MMO, or even though MMORP games, where you get free stuff, okay? Pieces, collapse pieces, they are pretty important, guys. And if you pay for the contract, which is the Battle Pass, uh, you get more, okay? More of these pieces. We have emails as well. They are giving us a lot, a lot of things. So if you get into the game, you can claim many of these rewards, okay? To get a great, great beginning or starting in this game. Also, I'm gonna share some codes that are, are still being useful to you to redeem and get more material, more pieces for you. It's gonna be appearing here on the screen, guys. So. Don't worry. And also, I'm going to put them on the description of the video so you can just copy paste, okay? But yeah, they are giving us a lot of things. Here, for example, the next one is obviously the, the window that uh, for the page notes, notice, events, system, etc. okay? And the next icon is the social. You can add me, guys. I'm going to share with you my friend's code first, and I'm going to try to, well, accept, <laughs> accept every of you, everyone, uh, until I reach the limit, okay? Okay. Down here, we have the same, the same, uh, like shortcuts for the time event, the limit event page, past events. I haven't loved this one. Supply missions. I told you about supply mission. Is the the missions that you actually complete an auto or manual to get materials. Okay. We have the supply missions and the combat sim uh, simulations. The combat simulations are the boss battles at the combat exercise. Combat exercise is the PvP here in this game. And other like different stuff to do in game, okay? Supply mission, combat simulations, and campaign. The campaign is the story, okay? So let's go back to the home screen. In the home screen, what can you do in the home screen? Well, go to the shop, go to the recruitment, recruitment sorry, a page, which is the banners. Public area is the dormitory, weapons, gallery, Refitting room done the, where is where all your characters are. Time limit events, the event, and campaign. Campaign is here. Where's my head? Okay. Going back. This here, guys. 
commissions, the daily activity page. This is where you complete, obviously, the activities that you need to complete for the daily, the dailies, in other words. You get collab pieces for this as a reward, right? And then you get more items here. At you have, after you complete the NAP daily mission, you claim these packs that gives you more collapsed, beautiful crystal for more pools and all, uh, some of these standard materials, okay? And HP for the commander. So you want to level up your commander level, you make sure to actually do the dailies every day, okay? You get pieces, collapsed pieces, to actually make some pools, you get experience to improve and obviously progress in the game. Events, well, it's a little screen like any other gacha game with all events, the normal events, the trails as well. The currently uh, events up for Rakis, the, the new players, because we all are new players in this new server. We have all of them here. You can actually get more pieces if you follow them on the Facebook page or you obviously get into the Discord server. And Bajash, this is the uh, Devil Pass, guys. So, I have to claim my stuff. Yes, I got some materials, guys. And obviously, you're gonna get, wait for that, let's go back to this. You're gonna get some Gucci things like an SSR weapon, no? Or just a normal weapon, I think. Um, let me check, let me check, let me check. Uh, for example, weapons, tickets, uh, standard tickets, premium tickets, all the tickets just to make some pools and partners, guys. And at the end of the month, you're gonna get more and more, okay? So support the game, support the game, guys. Let's go back. Now, I'm gonna show you the campaign. I'm gonna show you the missions. I'm gonna show you everything. But yeah, now, this is the main story of the game. Here, I'm gonna pull the normal, okay? Double pendulum. Here is very important, guys. You choose your missions here. The story is very good. Uh, it's, it's been like really interesting, interesting sorry. And the animations, the everything, the design and the, the bubbles are pretty good, okay? Uh, hard mode is really challenging sometimes, but normal mode is pretty easy, okay? But yeah. You have your missions here. Down here, where it says all chapter rewards have been played, there's another like banner here, little banner, where you can actually get more, more, more pieces of collapsed pieces, of course, tickets, standard tickets and material, okay? So I'm gonna show you one of these. Beautiful challenges missions. Let's go into it, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna skip this just to show you how it's going. And combat start. Zumbi. Automatic background, guys. All the stuff. Big, beautiful animations. Very loud sometimes. <laughs> but yeah. Shields. This is why Zomi is one of the best ones, guys. She used her ultimate and instantly every of the characters on the team has shield and healing. Okay, I'm gonna put in tier 3 X, guys. Big damage! Oh! But yeah, guys, so this game is really, really enjoyable and great. Now, um, for example, if you are into this like strategy game like me, you're going to enjoy it. Now, if you got something, you want something more like manual playable, like Nikki, for example, you want to Nikki, for example, <laughs> you go to there and obviously big, big babies. Yes, you want to Nikki. But yeah, this uh, game is really special, guys. It has its own like, um, like juicy, new juicy spice, okay, that captivates my attention, for example. And it's 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 been great experience, okay? The campaign is really easy. 
You have to go through it to level up your level as a commander. You have to go through it to get more pieces, collapsed pieces, and obviously materials. Okay, and these contracts here, these contracts is like the currency to enhance characters and weapons. Okay, so I can continue to go instantly to the next mission, or I just can confirm it to get back to other stuff. But yeah, okay, let's go back. In other words, guys, this game is really, really good. I recommend you to actually download the Girls from Blind 2 Exilium right now. PC version, mobile version, any version, and enjoy the game. They are giving us a lot of rewards right now. So, yo, guys, in my opinion, great story. Character design, great. I love it. Um, animations, break it. It's easy. Easy. Currently, I see it as an easy game. No, not an easy game, but it's easy to understand the thing, okay? It's not that challenging, except for the bosses, for example. These ones are kind of hard sometimes. Uh, you need to, later in the game, I think I'm going to actually get look for a, a team to get the wave, for example, and a team for boss battles only. No? The yeah, PvP, it's, it's enjoyable. You can actually play PvP with other players. Um, not simultaneously, but more in like the, the defense and attack, okay? We're going to talk about that later, okay? And yeah, currently they, they are giving us a lot of rewards, so I recommend you to download the game right now! I'm going to put the, the links down below in the description and some codes, okay? And obviously, add me as a friend, guys. Now, what I don't like, sometimes, sometimes in the mobile version, it's kind of like uh, slow and loading the screens, I don't know. But the PC version is really fast, okay? It's really, really fast. And currently, I think these characters are the most strongest. I don't know what other characters I'm gonna give us, right? But I would like to get more pools and weapons, okay? Weapons, okay? Because the characters are pretty good and they have like up a uh, high rates right now because it's, uh, it's the release, so. I just pulled two copies of Sony and that was great. I have a copy of um, Kojin, for example, in front of this banner. Really good. And yeah, that's one, right? Okay, guys. So, this is your boy Ergo Editor with a quickly overview of this beautiful game. I really recommend you to uh, try it. If you like the video, subscribe to YouTube channel, leave a like, and give me your friend codes in the comment section, guys. I see you in the next video. See you then, guys. See you then. Bye.